More than 16 million people across the nation have filed for unemployment. This as a result of the coronavirus pandemic, forcing companies to lay off and furlough employees. So which way is that number going to go? News 3 reporter Julio Avila talked with a business analyst who says that's hard to figure out. I think that's going to be a question directly correlated to how long this goes on for. Say it's nothing we should be scared of. We kind of expected this coming into it. Dominic Miserandino is a financial and business analyst who's worked on Wall Street and has held high positions at various companies. These numbers he says we're seeing is like nothing we've ever seen before. So projections are changing because this is all new. We do not have uh, any prehistory to consider on this. He says we can't even compare what we're seeing to the Great Depression or even the 2008 recession. Compared to 2008, there was no social impact. It was just how it was housing and it certainly had an impact on society, but it didn't change the way we lived. 9-11 changed the way we lived, and that's probably the closest economic comparable. In fact, CNN Money reported in 2009 that 2.6 million jobs were lost after the 2008 recession. As for the current numbers, the 16 million we're discussing is going to be for now. At some point, we're going to have society get back together. Um, when that occurs is the magic question. But for us here, Ms. Randino says we should be paying attention to what's happening elsewhere. Especially you guys haven't in Virginia been as hit as hard at the moment. So I'm hoping that the lessons of New York and Washington State start to dictate and help ease the burden for states that have not been hit as hard yet. And he also says there's a light at the end of the tunnel, but for now... I think any prediction on it would be foolhardy in terms of exact time because it's related, the disease is the one who gives us the time. We don't tell the disease what the timeline is. Reporting, Julio Avila, News 3.